Welcome back, chappies, to another look at action figures from the uh, three and three quarter inch Power of the Force Two Star Wars a toy line from the uh, 1990s. Uh, we're still uh, dealing with the Princess Leia collection of, of two packs with the soft goods, and uh, this time we'll be looking at Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker. This is from uh, the Yavin ceremony at the end of Episode Four, and this is another home run, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we'll start with Princess Leia here. Uh, the gown is fantastic. It's a little translucent, so you can see through it. You can see we've got a cloth skirt as well. And uh, we'll turn the light off to you to get a different perspective here. Yeah, that's great. Look at this. This isn't cloth. Well, it's probably nylon or some sort of plastic or, or some sort of... Um, it's, it's not real hair, I don't think. But, hey, this is really cool. That is really good. It may be a little too long compared to the... It might not be screen accurate, but you know what? Don't matter. That's really awesome. And uh, as you might guess, it's hard to find this particular... Any of these figures with soft goods loose out of the packaging in good condition because, you know, over time playing with these like they're toys, which is what they are, but you know, playing with them the way a kid plays with toys, you get tattery, ripped stuff with Cheeto stains all over it, etc. Uh, but this is case fresh, as is the case with all these Princess Leia uh, two-packs in the collection here now. That may not look like Carrie Fisher, but I have to compliment them for the makeup more than anything else. Can we see the makeup without... I mean, there's even blush on her face. So, you know, that's pretty good eyeshadow. That's pretty good. The necklace is there. That belt is there. She does have an accessory, but I currently have it on Luke Skywalker's neck. So, uh, but again, I think the star of the show with this figure is the gown, followed by this synthetic braid of hair. Uh, I think that looks really good. And obviously, you find these either ripped off or unbraided in the wild. And it looks pretty silly, but we uh, we have pretty standard articulation. I don't think she actually swivels at the waist, uh, but her arms and her legs and her head moves. I'm always careful with the Princess Leia heads because my vintage Princess Leia from 78, her head broke off the first time I tried to turn it back in 78 or 79, and we had to glue it back on. So I'm always very careful with any Princess Leia's head as a result. It was a traumatic experience to a little kid, you know. So uh, now uh, I think this is great. And again, you could, you could certainly classify this as a doll. And if you do so, you might as well concede the fact that all action figures are dolls. Just because it has cloth goods and this would appeal to girls more than boys. It don't matter. Uh, their action figures are dolls. Can we, can we uh, agree on that? If not, I don't care. I'm moving on. So that's uh, Princess Leia, and that, I think it looks fantastic. This is a great action figure. I don't know if these cost more back in the day. I paid five bucks each for these, so there's no point in, play, in paying high prices for these. Now, here's the Luke Skywalker figure. Let's go ahead and take the metal off. Uh, so you can get a better look at the uh, figure itself. Now this is a, uh, yeah, it definitely does not swivel at the waist. So these are five POA action figures. Kind of a, a step back from the rest of this line, which are six POA largely. But with these cloth goods, they opted for five POA. And I've actually never moved a head on his, this one. It looks okay. I don't think that's the same head as Jack Skywalker from 95. And as you can see, these... Cloth the clothing is not form-fitting, as is the case with one-sixth scale action figures or one-twelfth scale action figures. But he is wearing this jacket. It does have that ribbing down the side. Uh, he does have uh, arm and leg and head articulation. Otherwise, he's got that black shirt beneath. And curiously, almost looks like he's wearing Han Solo's pants from Bespin. Uh, very much so. He's got the, uh, uh, the pistol in the holster molded on, the blaster molded onto the figure, and, uh, I mean, if you don't like the original Jack Skywalker from 1995, again, you can't complain about this figure, because the proportions are very uh, modest, okay, and he does, or they do come with this uh, medallion, I think it's the, the metal medallion of Alderaan, I believe is, is what this becomes known as, uh, it does obviously fit around Luke's neck there, it doesn't fit too well because of the cloth goods jacket there. And she can also hold it in her hands to award it to him. When I put these on display, I'm probably going to have her awarding this to Chewbacca or maybe even the droids, just as a, as a gag. But um, pretty good. He does not come with a lightsaber. Can you believe that? He does appear to have 
a hand perfectly molded to hold a lightsaber hilt, but he doesn't come with one. Uh, no weapons with this particular Luke Skywalker. The accessory is the medallion. So, uh, as far as value, I'm sure if you're collecting these, you've got extra lightsabers. Uh, that, that, there's probably no doubt in that. But hey, not a bad figure at all. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Princess Leia again in case the thumbnail I choose comes at the end. Because she is the star of the show in all four of these uh, uh, dual packs. So there you go. I can highly recommend these, but do not pay scalpers prices for them. Okay, chappies, thanks so much for watching, and may the Force be with you. Talk to you soon.